In this video we're going to take a quick look at folder structure or folder hierarchy in Mac OS X and Mountain Lion. By understanding the folder structure of Mac OS X, you're going to have a better understanding of where your files are saved or where you can save your files. Where are your applications? Where do your documents go? So let's go and take a look at the folder structure of a Mac. Let's go back to the analogy of our hard drive is a filing cabinet. And this filing cabinet is one drawer. So when I go in the upper right hand corner here to Macintosh HD, when I double click this, what it's going to do is it's going to, going to open up that one drawer in our filing cabinet. And within this drawer, what do we normally see? We see folders. So let's go and open this up and let's see what folders we have in our Macintosh HD. So I have seven folders in my hard drive. Back to the filing cabinet, I have seven folders in my filing cabinet. Within each one of these folders, I'm going to have more folders. So this is my root. This is my base. When you open up that filing cabinet, what folders do you see? On my computer, I have seven folders. Your computer might show a little bit different. You might not have the developer folder there. You might not have the incompatible software folder there. So let's go through these folders one by one and see what they are. We have the applications folder. This is where all of your applications are. So if you need to find an application or open an application, generally all you have to do is just go to the Applications folder and you're going to be able to find that application. We have Developer. Now you may not see this one. This is for people who develop apps or programs on the computer. We also have Incompatible Software. Now Incompatible Software, what this is, is this is for Mountain Lion users. If you upgraded from Lion or Snow Leopard, there's going to be some software that may not be compatible with Mountain Lion. So what Mountain Lion does is it automatically puts it into this folder. Any application that is in this folder will probably not run properly in Mountain Lion. We also have the library. Now the library is a folder that you should, should absolutely stay out of. This is system level. This is what Mac OS X needs to operate. There's no reason why any typical user should be getting into the library. The same thing with the system. The system is another folder that Mac OS X uses. Users should not be going into the system folder. So it's a good rule of thumb to stay out of the library and the system folder. We also have user guides and information. This is a, an alias over to the user guides and general information about your Mac. And then we have users. Now the way that Mac is set up is you can have multiple users and I'm going to talk about this in another video how we can set up multiple users but generally what you can do is you can set up different users on your computer. Each user is going to have their own home folder. In this home folder is going to be their desktop, their documents, their photos, their music. So I'm going to go and open up this users folder. And the way that we're going to open it up is I'm just going to click on the triangle here so you can kind of understand the hierarchy. So I'm going to click on it. And you're going to see I have a number of different users. And each one of these users is going to have their own desktop, their own documents folder. Let's go to Noteboom Productions. This is the user that I'm in right now. So when I go and click on this, I'm going to be able to see all of my folders here. The desktop, the documents, the downloads. So now what you can see is you can see the desktop is in my Noteboom Productions folder, which is in my Users folder, which is in the Macintosh HD. And this is typically how it works with any of these other users. If I were to go to Macworld here, you're going to see I have desktop, documents, downloads, and movies. But they also have this little red circle here with a line in it. That means that I don't have access to it. So when you create multiple users on your computer, one user is not going to be able to see what's in another user's folder. Now there is a shortcut to get at some of these folders. All you have to do is when you're up in the finder, you're going to see Go up here. And when I click on Go, you can see I have Documents, Desktop, Downloads, Home, Computer. So what I'm able to do is I'm able to actually go to any one of these folders just by going up to Go. If I wanted to go to my Applications folder, open it up, now I'm in my Applications folder. If I wanted to go to my Documents folder, now it's in my Documents folder. But the Documents folder that is in is in my Documents folder, the Noteboom Productions, because I'm logged in to that user. 
So when I go up to Documents here, you're going to see I'm in Noteboom Productions, which is in the Users folder, which is on the Macintosh HD. So understanding the folder structure or the folder hierarchy of your Mac is going to make things a little bit easier when you need to file or look for a particular file or folder. Just remember that we have the Macintosh HD, we have the Applications folder in there, as well as System and Library. You want to stay out of the System and Library. We also have the Users folder in there. Within this Users folder, we have our different users. If you only have one user in here, you're going to see just your name or your username. From there, you're going to see your desktop, your documents, and your movies, and your photos. So that's the folder structure of Mac OS X and Mountain Lion.